What's up, Dividend Investors? Welcome back to the channel. Today on my channel, we're going to be doing a couple of things. One, going over the dividends that we've got so far in February. Two, we're going to buy some more stock. And three, we're going to go into these stocks and look at how much they're paying. My name is Dividend Rick. If you like my channel, guys, appreciate if you subscribe. Hope it's on this side. Give me a thumbs up, guys. Let's go ahead and get into this this uh dividend check that we've got so far let me set up my screen move this over move this down so you can see what's up all right here we are guys the account summary so this is so far i got sixty three thousand two hundred ninety one dollars in this account these are what i'm holding let's go over some dividends that's why y'all stop by here look at some dividends so investment income here we are investment income so it says as you can see here top left corner 23.91 per year that's what i should be getting this year but by the end of the year we want to have this number up to like three thousand dollars it should be over three thousand dollars by the end of the year i continue investing five hundred dollars a week let's look at what we've got so far in February. Let's go to this page here, retired millionaire. Let's slide over. As you can see, it kind of matches 62, 145. I need to put my other thousand dollars that we're going to put in today. Let's slide this over. Dividend income, $2,500 a year. That'll be by 3,000 by the end of the year. Let's go to my dividend log. So dividend log for February. I don't hope you can see that. Yeah, you can see it. February, $23.42 from ABBB. We'll go in and look at that stock here and just say I'm probably going to pick up some more of that, guys. All right, next for February so far, we got loads, $7.83. I know what you're thinking, that's not that much money. Well, I'm 42 now. When I'm 55, 56, 57 years old, reinvest those dividends to continue to grow and grow and grow all right let's see what we got seventeen dollars and 94 cents from oh that's a, a reach real estate reach they pay monthly seventeen dollars and 94 cents let's see if we got anything else this year or this month let's slide over we do we got jeffy they also pay monthly so on jeffy it's not reg a regular stock etf or index fund whichever you want to call it so I got $32.72 this month, and that means I get to buy more Jeffy with that $32.72. Last month it was $46.20. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, and it goes down. But we always reinvest the dividends. So, so far that's all we've got on here. And this, uh, I got this, um, this sheet from a guy named Ryan. He has a YouTube channel. He's a pretty cool guy. I watched most of all of his videos. I'll put a link to his page below, and you can go get this from him if you want it. So let's go back over here to Schwab, Charles Schwab, and look at what we want to buy today. Okay, so we got our positions. Let's go check out our positions and what we're holding. So we got here ABBB. That's uh, one that just paid out uh, this month. Let's go into it and check it out and see what the dividends are in this bad boy. Can y'all see that? Okay, so let's look at the three-year chart. Let's look at the three-year chart of ABBB. Growing up, it's up 70%, guys. 69.8%. That's, that's pretty good. Three-year chart. Let's go down to the dividends. Annual dividend yield, 3.51%. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's click on here, get some more information out of them. So as you can see here, 2016, 17, 18, they grow and grow and grow and grow. Let's look at the, down here, dividend growth, 17%, 7, five-year dividend growth. Pretty good, pretty good. Dividend coverage, 61.42%. Okay, payout ratio, 162%. All right, um, do we want to buy this? Do we want to buy this? They're $177. I got $1,100 to spend this week. I know I was only supposed to spend $500, but I put a little bit more in there. 
So let's check it out. Let me move my camera again. Get the camera set up in a nice spot. Okay, transmission over. Let's go ahead and buy. Pull this bad boy up here. We're going to buy. Oh, you can't see it. All right, we're going to buy. Let's buy two. What do you think? We should buy two. Buy two of these guys. We're going to dollar cost average into the market. It's going to cost $354.86 to purchase two of these bad boys. But we need more so we can get more drips, so we can get more stocks, so we can get more drips. A circle. You remember the 80s? The commercial with the frying pan and the egg? Yeah, you know what that commercial is. We need more so we can get more, so we can get more and get more. Okay, there it is. Made the purchase. Oh, place order. There it is. I bought two. Let's close this out. Oh, there's another one of me. There's another picture of me down. I got my, got my Mr. Rogers shirt on. Hello, neighbor. All right, so let's move this back down here so we can see what we're doing. All right, let's go back. What do we? What else do we want to do? What? What? What other stocks should we buy today? I think I want to buy some more lows. Pretty low on my lows. Let's go to positions here. Come on. There it is. So lows. We only have 8.14 of the lows. Right? And it makes up... And the dividend yield is 1.9. That's why I like Schwab. It has the dividend yields right here on the side. You know exactly what the dividend is. So Ford is real good. I want to get some lows. I think lows is going to continue to do great in the future. It's going to do great things. Amazing people. Let's go ahead and click on lows. How much does it cost? How much does Lowe's cost? $228, guys. Look at the three-year chart. Let's check it out. See what we got. Okay, so three-year chart, it went up in January of tw or December 20th, 21. Came down to 22. I think all, I think most all stocks had the same kind of thing right here. All right, let's see. And they all went down here in October 23. We all know that. Let's go look at the... Dividends. All right, so as you can see on this page, it keeps growing and growing every year, over and over and over. Dividends growing. All right, so annual dividend rate is four dollars and forty cents. You can see that here, or can you see it? Yeah, you can see it here. So annual dividend yield one point nine three, and then the five year growth rate is nineteen point five percent. Nineteen point five percent. That's pretty good. So that right there, your dividend is just a company paying its owners. That's what it's doing. It's just paying its owners, and so you're getting the nineteen point five percent pay raise in five years. Every uh, that's how much it's gone for five years. So would that be a pretty decent pay raise if you had a job and you get a twenty percent pay raise within five years? That's 4% every year, pretty much. That's pretty good, pretty good. Let's go ahead and pick some of these up. Let's go ahead and pick up. What do we want to pick up? Let's pick up one for now. Do we want to buy some other stuff? We're gonna pick up one here. We're gonna mark it, dollar cost average into the market. We're gonna review it. And we are going to place order. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So let's go back over here, check out some stuff, go to our positions. So what do what else do we want to buy? I all I really want to get my um my Ford stock up. Dividend yield 4.78. I have three point this makes up 3.74 percent of my uh portfolio. What else do I want? Pepco, I bought those just a couple days ago. We're not going to buy any more of those this week. Move my camera out of the way. Y'all can see. So, let's see. Um, so, all these, right here, these ETFs, these aren't qualified dividends. When you go to file your taxes next year, these aren't qualified dividends. You're going to get hit with a little bit bigger tax burden probably i'm not a i'm not a financial advisor i'm just, i just filed my taxes and i know that the taxes on these are a little bit higher than on 
qualified dividends, which are up here in this section here on top. Stocks, qualified dividends, ETFs, I think you have to hold them for over a year or whatever to get, I don't know, talk to your tax guy, talk to your financial guy. I'm not a tax expert. I just know I paid more taxes on dividends from these ETFs. All right. So FLQL is $51.16. It only makes up 1.4% of my holdings. So I need to pick that up. And I need to pick up Vanguard Growth ETF. That's only half a percent of my holdings. That's $335. Let's go and pick one of those up. I got to get I got to invest. I got to get it. I just have to get it. Because if I don't, then I'm just going to have hardly any of it. So let's go down here and look at their three-year chart. See what it's about. Everyone had a big dip. They're going back up. They're at 24.81% in three years. Let's go down. Our expense ratio is 0 0.04. Total assets, $206 billion. This is what they're holding. Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, NVIDIA, Meta, Google, Eli Lilly, Tesla. So their distribution yield is 0 0.57. Not very high, but this is going to grow. It's going to grow over time. Make sure you like my channel, guys. Subscribe. And grow over time. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to pick up one today. One little bitty. One little bitty amount. So let's get this. Uh, we got one market. Black uh, cost average is a market for $335. Woo! Place order. There it is. There's the order. Close that. Bring this guy back down here. So we can see what we're doing. All right. Let's go back. Let's go back to where we were at. Go back a couple pages. So we can see what we what if we want to buy anything else. Positions. Let's go to our lovely positions here, guys. What do we what else do we want? How much cash do I got? I got $193. So what do I want to buy today with $193? QQQQY. I got some of those the other day. I what so I got QQQY. So why would I not also buy QQQ? Is there a reason why I want to buy QQ? The NASDAQ 100, is it down? Is it up? It's growing, I think it's growing. Um, BTI, what, is, what do I have that's cheap? What, is, what do I have that's cheap that I need to buy more of? Maybe I, have more. I don't want to buy any more of that yet. I do need to get some more BOO. BOO, I have 39 of those. It's $461 for the SP 500 right now. All right, let's go get some Ford. We're getting Ford stock. We have some Ford stock. It's $12.44. Wow, it was $11 just a couple of days ago. I have 194 stock. Ford, I'm the Ford, I'm gonna hold Ford forever. I'm just gonna collect the dividend and hold Ford forever and ever. It is what it is. I think Ford's gonna be around. It's gonna grow. Look at that three-year chart. It it went way up over here. $24, $25, and it's down. I should have bought it right here. Goodness, I did. And let's look at their dividend. Annual dividend 4.79. Show some more of this screen. Let's see what we got here. So we all know what took place here in this this year. Low, 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 low. Special dividend 13 cents. Special dividend 85 cents or 25 cents. So annual dividend rate is 60 cents. Uh, for your growth, 58%. All right, let's go buy some. How many do we want to buy, guys? How many are we going to buy? They're $12. If I pick up 10, pick up 10, make it an even 200 holding market value, $124. Pick up 10 for $124, guys. Here we go. There it is. All right, so let's go back to our accounts. Balances, positions. Let's see what. Show that shirt. Yeah. See, I got sixty-eight dollars. Sixty-eight dollars left to spend, guys. Very important. Very important to get that money in the market. Let's buy for sixty-eight dollars. 
we will pick up uh pick up FLQL. No, we're not gonna pick anything up actually. We're not gonna do that today. We're gonna hold that $68 for next week and add it to next week's money. Add that to next week's money, guys. And so I think I already did this on my other screen. This one I'm gonna this one it says I'm gonna have twenty four hundred uh a year. So this month we already went over what they paid me. Next month's gonna be a big month, three hundred forty six dollars, big month, big month. This is why I like Schwab because you can see everything here, what they uh paid you, received income year to date on the positions, estimated income remaining 2024, 704 dollars on my stocks, and then fifteen hundred dollars and nineteen cents remaining on my ETFs. And I'll also get some uh little interest on my cash that's still in there. So guys, I sure do appreciate you. I sure do appreciate you stopping my, my channel, checking it all out. Guys, say you subscribe over here. Guys, please, the thumbs up really helps out. Thumbs up really helps out my channel, guys. I sure do appreciate you coming by. And until next time, peace out. Just stop my recording.